Hello my dears and welcome back to my corner of the internet. I'm Shannon and today I've got another paranormal video to share with you guys. And today we are talking about the Crescent Hotel in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Now this hotel has a very, very, <laughs> very interesting, disturbing history. It was built in 1886. It was built as sort of a resort for the wealthy where they could go and spend their money and have a nice time in a beautiful hotel. Now, while the hotel was being built, there was an accident involving one of the construction workers. His name was Michael. And later on in this video, when we get to the part where we talk about the supposed ghosts that still haunt the halls, we will get back to him and talk a little bit about uh, where he's been seen lately. But before we talk about the ghosts, I want to talk about a man named Norman Baker, who purchased the hotel in the 1930s, 1937, I believe. And this man, you may have heard of him, but maybe not, I hadn't, until I started researching this hotel. This man had a very disturbing history. By the time 1937 rolled around and he made his way to the Crescent Hotel, he had been run out of many different places. I believe Ohio or Iowa, and he was driven down to Mexico where he carried on with his nonsense, and then eventually he made his way back up to Arkansas. Now, Norman Baker was a millionaire and he worked as a radio announcer from time to time. But the reason that he would get himself into so much trouble as he made his way around the country and even eventually down into Mexico is that he would pretend that he was a doctor. He had zero medical training, but he would just say he was a doctor. Complete fraud. And the big thing that he toted was that he had come up with a cure for cancer. Now it's the year 2020. We know that's not the case. Uh, Mr. Baker certainly did not have the cure for cancer, but as you'll see now in a moment when we talk more about it, he really, really preyed upon people who were desperate for help. You know, that's the worst kind of person, someone who preys upon the weak and the sick and the vulnerable. And that's exactly what he did. And not, it wasn't even that he was misguided and thought he was helping. I feel like it was truly, purely for monetary gain. And that's just inexcusable. Now, luckily, he wasn't able to run this scam for too terribly long. He was arrested in 1940, but in 1937, he purchased the Crescent Hotel and he turned it into a hospital where he was the doctor and he was going to cure all of these people who were living with cancer. His slogan for the hospital was simply where sick people get well. He claimed that Arkansas and Eureka Springs in particular was like a new Switzerland and the air and the water would cure you. And if that was all that he was trying to cure these people with, that would have been one thing, but he had another thing entirely that he would inject these patients with. He called it Formula 5. It was a mixture of alcohol, glycerol, carbolic acid, ground watermelon seed, corn silk, and clover leaves. He would grind it all up and um, inject it into the patient around, like near or around the, um, the site where the cancer was inside their bodies. He would inject them with it. And so many patients died because of I'm sure whatever in the hell he was injecting them with. Forget about the cancer. I'm sure it was his treatments that were killing them. And many, many, many people died in that hospital. What's even more disturbing is that after they would pass away, he would bring them down to the basement and he would bury them there on site. And 
as I'm sure you can imagine, a lot of those people are still, their spirits are stuck inside this hospital, uh, hotel, I should say, um, just roaming for eternity. Now, so he was arrested in 1940, just last year, so 2019, just in case you're watching this in the future, 2019, a bunch of specimen bottles were dug up in the backyard of the hotel. In those bottles were specimens, human specimens. It had been over 80 years, so the specimens in the jar had broken down to the point where it was they were never able to tell what parts of the body were in the bottles but whatever parts that's just so horrifying imagine being the one digging up those bottles and just like the slow realization coming to you of what exactly you're looking at absolutely horrifying <laughs> now the crescent hotel is still um open and in business and as popular as ever especially now that it's no longer a fraudulent cancer hospital but with that in mind let's talk a little bit about the ghosts that are rumored to walk the halls of the crescent hotel the first one is of course the construction worker that i mentioned at the beginning his name was michael and he was it says here that the stonemason flirt from ireland is kind of how he's known and he died during the construction and and to this day the room that really sees the most activity from him is room 218 so if you're ever in the area and you'd like to meet michael the stonemason flirt from ireland that's where you'll find him next up is a ghost called brecky and he's the spirit of a four-year-old boy who died from illness in the hospital so it, I, all the research that I did didn't specify if it was cancer or not, like if he was one of the patients from when Norman Baker ran the hotel, but he passed away on the premises from illness. And it said that he likes to play in the hallways and he's been known to show himself in photographs taken by tourists when they stay in the hotel. Next up is Theodora, and uh, apparently she's been there for about 80 years at this point. And um, she's been known to wander around looking for a missing house key that she never, uh, not house key, sorry, room key that she never finds. But she's just constantly looking for it. And when she can't find it, she'll get frustrated. And when she gets upset, she <laughs> um, will unpack visitor suitcases they'll leave their rooms they'll come back their suitcases will be open and things will be strewn about the room in ways that they know they themselves did not do <laughs> and there's a nurse um people think that probably she was a nurse from when the hospital uh when the hotel was a cancer hospital um there was no name mentioned for her but she's just seen in sort of apparition form pushing a gurney around the third floor and you know it said that she's just stuck there pushing this gurney into eternity all up and down the hallways of the third floor that's that makes me so sad and then finally the most popular ghost popular is a strange word i know but the most frequently reported ghost is she's known simply as the girl in the mist and from time to time apparently once night falls usually around 10 10 30 at night she'll be seen sort of just flinging herself off of the balcony it didn't say in any of the research that i did if there was a particular room or a particular floor where she could most generally be seen maybe it's just any balcony but uh, from what I could tell, people say there's no record of a girl who died in that manner, like falling off of the balcony. So no one's really sure who she is or why she's stuck there, but she's there. And of course, I'm sure over the years, many, many things undocumented happened inside that hotel. So who knows who she is, but hopefully, hopefully her, as well as all of the spirits, as well as all of the spirits that we've ever talked about, you know, hopefully they all find their way out of that hotel and into 
whatever afterlife is waiting for us but yeah so there you go you guys that's the story of the crescent hotel in eureka springs arkansas please let me know in the comments down below if you've ever been to this hotel because like i said it's still open it's as popular as ever you can go in check in enjoy the beautiful hotel and i'm sure the beautiful town where it is but yeah let me know if you stayed there let me know if you would stay there <laughs> and uh, i hope you guys are having a great week and i will see you on friday with another book talk video bye guys